start this evening with the disturbing synthetic drug that's sweeping across the north of the country, turning addicts into the walking dead. Charity workers have told Sky News that spice is more addictive than heroin and is fast becoming the drug of choice for Manchester's homeless users. Sky's Fraser Maud reports. I'm just getting off this for the fan off. And is that spice? Yeah, yeah. It looks like cannabis, but those who use it say it can be stronger than heroin. Spice is a synthetic marijuana that used to be a so-called legal high before it was made illegal last year. Some outreach workers estimate that over 90% of the homeless people in Manchester are using it. People like Sean and Jason, who both started smoking spice when they were in prison. They go into jail, smoking the spice <laughs> once, saying I was never smoking it again. And then started smoking it. Started smoking it again when I got out, and I've smoked it since. Do you wish you could stop? I'm going to stop, but there's also side effects in it. I'm trying, I'm trying hard, I'm trying hard to get out of get, get out of it. Out of it and I've been put in a hostel very soon, so hopefully everything should come together and should start getting off it and, and stay away from it and get out of that lifestyle. Nine out of ten people that used to be on heroin have now changed to spice. Do you think it's as strong as heroin? Yeah, yeah, maybe stronger. In a worrying development, a new strain of the drug called frozen spice causes its users to become almost catatonic. Some describe them as becoming zombie-like and think it may even be laced with heroin. So it looks like the walking dead in the city centre. And it's, I've never seen anything like it in my life. It's awful. Support worker Julie Boyle deals with the spice-addicted homeless every day. They are, she says, vulnerable targets. It's, it's now a Class B drug, which kind of helps, but the, the, because the addiction is so severe and the withdrawal symptoms are worse than heroin, um, heroin symptoms of withdrawal, they're continuing to do it because they're so addicted to it. Um, and a lot of people have gone from heroin onto spice thinking that it's, you know, it's another drug that will get them off altogether and it's harder to come off spice than it is to come off heroin. A small bag of the drug costs just a few pounds and its users say they can buy it on almost every corner. Greater Manchester Police say more and more people are using spice in built-up areas like this, Manchester City Centre. They say they're adopting a multi-agency approach to the problem and have already made 18 arrests in the past 12 months. And they say that by tackling crime at street level, they should be able to target the criminals higher up the supply chain. The City Council says it's working with the police to tackle spice and has commissioned scientific research into it and other drugs classified as new psychoactive substances, or NPS. The ambulance service too is being put under increasing pressure by the growing number of spice-related call-outs. Some of these patients might be... Um, uh, might have some sort of heart, can, heart problem that we need to manage. Some of them might just be unconscious, so they need their airway managing. So we have to manage the symptoms. What we don't or can't manage is the spice itself. So the chemical they've taken is in their body and there's, there's nothing we can do about that. We just have to manage the effects that it has on them. Making spice and other NPS illegal has seemingly done little to stop vulnerable people like Sean and Jason becoming hopelessly addicted. And with newer and stronger varieties of the drug constantly being developed, the fight to stop them reaching our city's streets is getting harder. Fraser Maud, Sky News, Manchester. The United Nations is warning that the world is facing the largest humanitarian crisis since the Second World War. More than 20 million people in Yemen, South Sudan, Somalia and northeast Nigeria are on the brink of starvation. Our senior correspondent, Ian Woods, has the story. In Somalia, they've now got a cholera outbreak to add to the country's many problems. The disease spreads when there's a shortage of clean water. The Somali drought has wiped out livestock, depriving people of their livelihoods, forcing them to abandon their homes in search of anything to eat and drink. Amina is struggling to care for a starving child whose mother died. You know there's nothing you can give children to calm them down or to meet their needs. They get loud and restless. You're sitting there with them, worrying what to do. They're there asking you to feed them and you're just helpless and in despair and you really feel it when they all cry from hunger. But Somalia is just one of four major international crises which the UN Security Council has been told form the greatest humanitarian challenge it has ever faced. 
Now, more than 20 million people across four countries face starvation and famine. Without collective and coordinated global efforts, people will simply starve to death. Sky News first showed these distressing pictures of 12-year-old Abdul last month.